Hello everybody. Welcome back to my educational channel, Edis English Literature. I am Ardhan Dude. Reading poetry and understanding the same is very important for everyone, particularly for beginners. And it is so essential for students who are just popping up in English literature as is field of studies. It's for aesthetic pleasure as well as for studies. So today we are going to analyze how to define a poem and simply the whole thing for the beginners. Poetry is the form of literature spoken or written that emphasizes rhythm. Intricate patterns of sounds imagery are there and in many possible ways that words can suggest render its meaning. Thus, before anything else, read the poem two or three times. Then try to grasp its meaning. What is the theme? What is the tone? What is the poet trying to say here? By studying the structure and language of the poem, you will gain an insight into the poem's meaning. The more times you read the poem, the more you will understand the meaning of the poem. So I emphasize on reading. A perfect reading of the poem is essential, the very first step of understanding your poem. Don't take summary beforehand reading. Contemporary poetry is sometimes difficult to interpret. I mean the modern poem. It can often have several meanings or its meaning can be unequivocal. Sometimes the poet does not want to have any particular meaning or meaninglessness is the very meaning. Preferring it instead the reader take his own interpretation. And, and you are advised to be an open and non-judgmental as possible when answering the unseen poetry or when understanding the unseen poetry because you are the critic. So when a poet writes a poem, simply what he does, the poet communicates thoughts, emotions, ideas and primarily these ideas goes into the reader's mind and how he writes, how he communicates because his choice of words and structure. So the objective of the poem can have different ways. Sometimes the poem might challenge readers perception of how they view things, help them things in a different light. For some people poetry is highly personal one. They engage uh, with poems on a subjective level. In this way, you can learn a lot about life and understanding life through poetry and through the poet's eyes or perception. On the other way, there are a kind of a objective poetry where you will find that poetry is, poetry is a kind of a separate entity. Poetry is nowhere there. Dramatic monologues are kind of that poetry. To help you gain a deeper understanding of what the meaning or the content of the poem, you have to make some simple ideas clear. You have to examine the poem through different parameters. First of all, try to grasp the ideas. First, you try to understand and grasp the very main idea or the meaning of the poem. Approaching the poem stanza by stanza, line by line, word by word. Note the key words and phrases repeated throughout the poem. First think about why the stanzas and lines are structured in a particular way. 
explore yourself the relationships that are mentioned different things even the readers and the poet and you will search after them throughout the poem if there is any recurring themes in the poem and if the poet is trying to say something about the same thing one and again just note them down these are the main ideas the second most important thing is search for persona now when you are taking a poem ask yourself who the speaker is is it the poet or is it the poet taking on another voice to whom is the poet speaking to is it himself herself or is it a particular person or is it the reader by questioning that you will understand it is a subjective poetry that means the way poet reveals himself or herself or the objective poetry by which poet hides himself the next point is its language when studying the language of a poem there are certain elements to look out for language is not that gross words written but there is a tone in those words the morose philosophical so many of the tone can be there just search them in the language part you will find rhythm musical quality of the poem does it rhyme does it not is it follow a particular rhythmic pattern is the rhythm fragmented so the prosodic part and by that rhyming part you will get the very musicality of the poem next part is technique does the poet use writing techniques to enhance the language suppose there are rhetorics alliteration repetition of the sounds assonance repetition of the vowels so many of the rhetorical parts so many of the figurative parts are there and these are technical parts and another important thing and quite difficult one is the imagery what imagery does the poem use how does it shape your meaning of the poem imagery it means imagery and symbolism is the related things the illustrating points or illustrating views of the poet is through images and symbols there are stock words stock ideas that are related the relationship between the said and the related ideas might be some understanding part so when you are searching after words searching after languages you are very much the critic and your understanding of the poem is dependent upon your thought and your thought should be devised step by step like that i have said in this lecture now notably one or two things more that i will like to share with you when you are making a google search or google algorithm you are in search for keywords even if that is very technical or it is quite boring to instruct you that you must search after keywords in the poem but it is evident that many of the poems have some words that are truly highlighting the entirety or the theme of the poem so you should search after those particular located words now in parts of grammar and punctuation poets differ in how they express themselves okay sometimes words are not enough in themselves and poet might not use unorthodox grammar or different punctuation to get the points across grammar in ordinary prose and grammar in poetry may differ 
and that differences are for poetic sake and for uh, uh, for for adjusting the readers towards the or pulling the audience towards that poem so you must take care of it so notably the next point that i will say are the sounds the poem is close to music or rather if you don't have the sounds of the poem then you cannot get that meaning properly so read times over and over again and listening to the very sounds depending on your reading a poem can be sensual sad maybe angry happy so what emotions of the poem it exhibits so your reading is very essential don't take a stop just listen to others and then repeating that it is said that don't take this simple way of understanding it rather read yourself and after reading try to understand is it sad or is it some funny so i think you can get that note after reading the whole poem several times with that hope and with the best wishes i say you must proceed understanding the poem after reading the poem first so best wishes for your journey of understanding the poem and this short lecture might have a help for you if there is any question just pop up here and ask me questions i will try my best to give answers like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye